Hey guys, it's me again, and <clears throat> sorry, I haven't done reviews in a while, it's been pretty boring and depressing in quarantine, I've been kind of sleeping in a lot lately, I've been kind of lazy to do any reviews, I'm sorry, I, was, I really wasn't feeling up to it, because you know how probably depressing this quarantine and COVID crap is, and I still don't have a job or not going to school, so it's kind of depressing. <laughs> Anyways, sorry, I'm just getting rid of some stuff I have over here. Um, I will be reviewing the... I don't know why, but I just got this yesterday, and this is why I decided to, re I decided to review this, and... Nothing else, and wow, I even brought out a figure for comparison, and this thing's still pretty big. I might need to get another figure. Alright, anyways. Um. <laughs> this, uh. Yeah, I didn't get, I, I. Oh, wow, so stupid, hard to explain. Um, I didn't get this yesterday, but, um, I mean, I got it yesterday, but I didn't receive of it. Ugh. Oh, this is so stupid. Okay, um, so I was in a really weird eBay shopping spree, and I've been buying a lot of stuff impulsively. I don't know why it just happened. And my parents got to the point where, like, okay, this is getting out of hand and all that crap. So they kept some of my packages at my grandma's house. And, um, this is the one I was able to pick up from there. It was always there that whole time, I just never got to it because there's so many there. <laughs> well, not now, there's, it's pretty much almost cleaned out. But, um, so this is the one I decided to, I don't know, I'm just deciding to review this for whatever reason because I, I feel like I haven't done a review in a while. I think it's been a, a while since I've done one and I think I'm overdue for a review. <laughs> Sorry. I know, that was some corny, um, wow, I feel like I'm very unprepared today, I don't know why. I, I'm kind of trying to rush this because, um, I'm sorry, I'm not really trying to rush it, I'm just kind of trying to get this in, sort of, probably under 40 minutes because me and my family are planning to watch Avengers Infinity War since there's not really a lot much to do in quarantine. I still don't have a job, no school to go to. It's, it's funny how, um, I, I feel like I took my job for granted now. Wish I didn't. Really wish I didn't. Never, you never know how much something means to you until it's gone. Anyways, I'm sorry if I'm sounding like a depressing sad sack. <laughs> um, Oh, here I have the Marvel Select Chitarian Barefoot Soldiers. That's not the right word. Um, at the the Marvel Select, right? Yeah, Marvel Select Chitari Foot Soldier. Um, yes, Marvel Select. Um, keep in mind that I don't know why I'm telling you this, but <clears throat> I may plan doing more Chitari uh, uh figure reviews possibly. I. I can't lie when I say that I already, I didn't buy it new or new in box, so I can't technically say I reviewed it, but I do plan on getting it in the near future. I just got a bunch of these that were used, and um, besides these figures, which I am not going to lie, these are probably the most best accurate, articulated, and detailed figures I have ever seen in my freaking entire life. And I'm also really disappointed that the Outrider is not coming out. I'm so sorry, but that was a huge disappointment. That's a huge letdown, man. Oh my god. The, the Outriders are the biggest, like, baddest things in Avengers Infinity War, which we are ironically going to be watching. Maybe that's why I decided to do this review. I don't know why, but I actually planned doing this yesterday, even though I didn't know if all my family was going to watch Avengers Infinity War. I know I was, done at 8, so whatever. Um, anyways, you just gotta check some of these figures out. They're my Hot Toys. I know they're very expensive. I'm sorry, pardon my hair. I just got out of the shower. 
Um, I know these are very expensive, so hopefully if you can... <clears throat> I mean, this is why I like to work. This is why I feel like I took my job for granted, because I can get some of this shit and stuff. There's so much, much of it I want, and I know I need money to do it, so... That's why I don't want to sound really... What is the word? Um, I don't, I don't want to sound like I'm a workaholic or whatever, or like, I want to sound boring because I love work, yay. I mean, it's not just the work. It's and it's not just the money too. Um, you get the exercise. I feel like I do anyways. You get the camar camaraderie, camaraderie. Yeah, that's the word. Um, and you develop a special relationships with peers who you can eventually call maybe friends who start off as and you know employees and stuff. But anyways, I'm getting so distracted. Um, just check out these figures I have. Um, I they are pretty fragile, so uh, I am. Sorry about this, so, uh, be careful when you open these. I mean, it's not, I didn't break it when opening it. I, uh, I thought the black tab on the Chitari, uh, foot soldier comes off, and it does not, so I broke it, so now I have to kind of make him, like, a fallen foot soldier or something. But I do have one over here that is complete, and I'm using my other phone as light. I'm so sorry about that. I just, I'm just kind of improvising. Um, here's one who's at the battle ready. Looks pretty uh, battle ready to take on some Avengers and superheroes, whatnot, and anything that stands in their way for galactic conquest. Um, since I didn't do an unboxing and I bought these used, I'm technically not going to count it as reviewed, even though they're awesome and I already technically kind of went over it but i do plan on getting the movie masterpiece by hot toys chitari foot soldier and commander that that uh, set comes with both of them so they're not two separate boxes it's a i believe it's a very rare set to get and it's pretty it's uh, yeah I'm, I'm gonna probably obtain of it real soon i don't know it kind of depends on where my financial situation is here <laughs> yeah i'm a bit low on cash but i'm not that low i'm just low at the look i'm not like one dollar and 25 cents low <laughs> i got more than that definitely um it's just to me i'm I'm kind of broke. And no, I'm not actually broke. It's just in my in my way of seeing it, I feel like I'm kind of broke. But anyways, this is dragging on enough. I am so sorry. I don't know why I keep apologizing. But let's review. Finally. <laughs> I know I said finally because I keep dragging on. I'm sorry. I, I don't know why. It's just a weird thing I do. But, um... The Marvel Select Chitari Foot Soldier. Yeah, and there's one figure that comes with a Chitari Chariot. I might just get it for the Chariot, I'm not gonna lie, because there is... If I'm not mistaken, there is no more figures uh, that comes... Sorry, I, I noticed a, a mark on my figure, and that kind of makes me get a little weird. I don't know why I get weird when I see, like, miss paints or miss marks on a figure, but I can just pretend it's kind of battle damaged, and when I think of it that way, it doesn't really matter if it's not painted quite accurately, even though I do try to, I do, um, look and perfect for accuracy. I'm a perfectionist. I cannot help that. I'm very OCD, <laughs> but if I just pretend it's all part of the whole battle damage look and then kind of fly, it flies by me. It works for me. Anyways, I believe there's this only one set, figure set or pack or whatever, uh, that comes with the Chitari Chariot and it's the only one that actually comes with that vehicle for the Chitari. So he, this, this uh, dude might uh, ride around on that uh, Chariot 
except um, it might not be to scale because, um, well, obviously not to scale. Imagine if this thing was hulking around, walking around in, in real life in, in full scale. Like, th this thing would be massive. But I didn't mean that type of full scale. I meant, like, the figure that, that uh, to Chitari Chariot. Wow, that is a tongue twister. I don't know why I'm slipping on that. Um, I think the figure's a little bit smaller than this, so he might look very big on it. It almost might look like a a a, a giant on a unicycle or something, or a or a little you know like little kid's bicycle. It would look so weird because because the, the figure's so giant and the vehicle's so small, and it wouldn't make any sense, but. I will see if I can make it work if um, I obtain of that. Uh, so yeah, I, the, the thing that I so do not understand about this is it comes with what looks like railings or balconies. It comes with obviously the Chitari foot soldier, but he doesn't come with any freaking weapons. I, I don't. I don't. Okay, I don't understand that. <laughs> I don't know why they think he's gonna just, uh... I don't know, fight the Avengers without any Chitari weapons, but, uh, maybe they're just gonna... Maybe he's, a. Uh... Maybe this, uh, soldier on foot is going to just use his hands and feet to, to defeat or kill or take out the Avengers for I don't know what reason. I, I, it still perplexes me why there's no weapons included here and I, I swear there's definitely no weapons here I out of all of the listings I've seen there's no weapons whatsoever unless they're added which they don't include they're not included with the figure set they're just probably included from another pack or so but uh, which brings me uh, back to uh, one more thing before I actually get into the review. Wow, I drag on so much. I'm so sorry. Um, there is the... They came out with a... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I don't know who. I really cannot remember the brand name. I'm so sorry about that. Um, an Avengers Endgame Chitari figure. And it does come with a scepter, but it is very smaller than this one. And by far, if, if I'm to say to scale, this is, like, medium-sized. The Hot Toys Chitari are m giants. Speaking of giants, I, uh, I'm just going to show you my Master Chief that I have there. I don't know why. I'm just showing it off because, oh, yeah, Cortana's in his hand, too. Um, not as big as that, but it is pretty big. It's Hot Toys comes out with the biggest, most giantly massive figures and highly detailed I have ever seen in my whole entire life. They're, I mean, I, be honest, I mean, bear with me, they are expensive, and, um, I, it's just, it's just so worth it to have in display, in possession, the detail, oh, the articulation, oh my gosh, it's like, I, I, I feel like I'm in an Avengers movie when I have these figures. They're just like, oh God, they're just so good. They're, there's, I, I can't say there's anything wrong with it. I swear there's, there's, I mean, from my standpoint, they're probably perfect. Maybe some people might come with some possible negative reviews. I mean, we're all different. We all have different opinions. And what we think and perceive of things. Like, if you do get or possess a Hot Toys um, Chitari figure, I will warn you that you have to build... You'll, you'll understand what I'm saying when you get one. You have to build their helmets onto their face. It's a little bit weird. I, I know that doesn't make sense, but when you get one, you'll totally understand what I mean. They come in two... The... the can't speak. The helmets come in two pieces. Uh, one, like, maybe a head cover, and then the face mask for the foot soldier, and the commander comes with the head area, head top, or whatever. Hat, whatever you want to call it. Um, head case. 
I don't even know what you call the top of their heads. A little cranium head piece. And then there's also the face mask for the Chitari commander. Anyways, I was... Did I say that... Okay, the Avengers... Okay, so yeah, I was talking about the Hot Toys one. And I... I warned you about that. That's what I wanted to tell you about. Those pieces for the helmet are super, super fragile. Be careful when assembling them. I swear, I've heard people, they've broken them before. They have broken them before because they are so brittle. I do not know why they are this brittle, but... I swear, if you touch it, you'll break it. That's how, that's how fragile it is. It's like glass. It's not made out of glass. I think it's some kind of resin plastic alloy, possibly. Anyway, so just be very careful when you assemble those, because I have them. And thank God I watched reviews before I just willy-nilly just smashed it together. And, and look what we have here. A helmet in five pieces and never be able to be repaired. Um, so anyways, I bought the Hot Toys, uh, Chitari's, um, foot soldiers, uh, used. One I bought, I think it was, I think the first one was used. It, it was probably used, I'm just saying it was used because it was taken out of the packaging, even though it was kind of in the packaging, it was taken out of the box, but the packaging still remains. Don't ask me why. It's like that for whatever reason. Um... But, I believe it was from China, China, and the, uh, the Chitari's arm cannon got taken out. I don't know why, but there was a discount on it, so probably because of that, so it only makes sense. Um, and it came with the helmet, and everything else, it came with extra hands to adjust with you can take the hand off and the arm cannon you can take their uh the chitari's hands off to put the arm cannon on it's pretty cool um i uh oh yeah there's another thing it didn't come with because i've seen reviews on this before and since i haven't really I never did an unboxing of one before. I only bought them used. I'm not technically counting them as reviews. Even though it, it kind of... I already have possession of them. It, it I'm, I'm just not counting as a review. So let's not get uh, sidetracked there. Um, where was I going with this? Right. They come with extra hands. And I do know this for a fact because I've seen the reviews. They do come with base plates. They come with really rocky base plates like... It looks like it's made out of debris and rocks and probably falling buildings and whatnot. And they even have, like, dented signs and uh, structural damage of whatnot in some sorts. And uh, so I could probably use these railings for that background that I'm going for over there. And, yeah, I did have some Outrider dioramas because that's the only ones you'll be able to get. You cannot get the Outriders from Hot Toys, the giant, amazing figures that... <laughs> thought were going to be released, but I guess they're not. You can only get the diorama versions of that, which is a little bit disappointing, but I still got the dioramas anyways, because I'm making do with do, because I, I need outriders in my army. If I want to make a giant display, it needs to consist of Chitari, and it can, needs to consist of outriders. Those are the main uh, villain uh, minions of the Marvel Universe, and they're so awesome, because I just love them. Anyways, Oh, I bought another Ch Hot Toys Chitari, used, did not come with the stand, and did not come with the base plate. There's a, there's a little doohickey that, um, it's a stick, and it has like a grappling hook, so it l latches onto their back, so you can stand them up, because I don't think they pose very well. They're very top-heavy. Which is fine, you just need to find, you just gotta be more flexible with the posing, I guess. But, um, you just gotta kind of maneuver a little bit more. Um, which is totally cool, it's not even that bad of, big of a deal. Anyways, um, all this figure came with, it came with, oh wait, yes, 
The second one I got came with the blaster, but it didn't come with the helmet. So, I obviously, when I got that one, um, since one had a helmet and one had a blaster, I just thought, like, put them together so I can have, like, a whole figure, and I did that. And, uh, the, by the way, the, the black piece on the Chitari's backs do not come off. <laughs> I mean, I took mine off, but it's not supposed to. So if you did, you broke it, so don't even try, because I broke mine, so that's why my one is just laying down over there. I'm just pretending he's a fallen foot soldier, or fallen soldier, whatever. And he's just laying there dead. <laughs> and the other one is more bad already because... Oh, by the way, the, there's a lot to keep in mind about these figures. They're, they're super expensive, and I guess you can say they're super delicate. They're most likely for display than play. Again, display, as in put them on for show. Playing with them, just be careful. There's a lot that can be broken off. <laughs> um, the helmets, the back piece... Um, I believe there was another thing that could have been broken off. Never mind that. I, I heard, oh, actually, I heard that, um, the fig fingers on the hands can be broken off, which I never had that problem before. And, um, what was the other thing that can be broken off? There is another thing that can be broken off, I swear. It, it's, it's, it's there. I just need, wait, need to look at it. Um... Where did it go? I swear I used to have one on here. Um, great. I had. Oh, I can't remember what I was gonna say. Wait, hang on a minute. I remember now. I'm sorry. Pause the video because I was obviously dragging on enough. I looked at it enough, and since it's not very visible for my for my uh, peripheral view, um, the the neck armor that breaks off so easily, along with the helmet and the neck armor. Those are the things that are the most fragile about the figure. So please heed caution. Like please take heed and be very careful when you're working with those figures. The helmet is the most uh, delicate part, and the the um, neck armor. I believe on both of the figures I've broken it, at least one side of the armor. It's very fun to play with, but just um, at the cost of you will break it. And I did. <laughs> so, yeah. Did I, I, I know I broke it off, I just... Uh... It's not very visible for the one that I have... Who looks bad already, but the the dead dude is, um... I think I broke his strap off entirely. I don't even know how I did it. <laughs> Just don't even ask me. Um, wow, how do I get so distracted by this? Um, anyways, the one figure that was, uh, re the one Chitauri figure that was released for from Avengers Endgame comes with a scepter, and I'm hoping to give it to this dude, because he got no weapons. So now, with any, without further ado, and I swear I'm going to review this, uh, God strike me down if I don't review this right now, because this is going on uh, long enough. And I'd like to, oh, I'd like to keep this in mind that this is a this is a really cool feature right here. It's a it's a locking mechanism. So I think you can open it and close it. See, that's really cool. I want to hope to kind of reuse this packaging. I don't know why, just because of that feature. So I'm going to try and I'm just going to open it so it's reusable. So I'm just going to pause it right here because this might take on a long time take a while. It might drag on is what I meant. Okay, um, I wanted to open it carefully so I can maybe reuse the packaging and hope it, like, clicks in a little bit so I can open and close it. I don't know why. I really like that feature. But I can't do that anymore because <laughs> I, I don't know how I did it, but I ripped the whole, uh, thing off, so... 
comes off like this. Um, ooh, what do I have here? Licensed product. What is this, a certificate of authentication or something? Oh, Diamond Select Toys. I thought they only did Mini Mates. Okay, I'm guessing I'm wrong here. Uh, let's put this over there. Um, the Here's the railing, which... It's funny, they said some assembly is required, which... It looks like it just comes how it is. Does this come apart? Does it... Did, is there a better way to assemble it? I don't know. This is just a little... Uh, I'm so confused. I remember this saying some assembly required. This looks entirely assembled. Um, well, whatever. I might use it with my, uh, my debris. I, might, I think I might use it as debris or some background for my setup I got over there with one dead dude, two dead outriders, and, uh, one battle-ready, uh, Chitari over there. So now I am taking the Chitari figure out, and it has... Oh man, I hate those things. They have those silver tie things. Oh man, I do not like those, and they're in the back. This is gonna be taking a long time. Remember these things where they have to tie it down like it's gonna fall out or something? Man, I really don't like those. I'm, I'm sorry, but... I wish they would, it just, it's so tedious, the process, to take them out, it takes forever, and, um, I really just don't like these things. I just don't like how they tie it down, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna fall out, or whatever, I mean, it, it's fine in the packaging, you don't have to tie it down, you don't have to, like, tie it down like it's a prisoner in a dungeon or something, <laughs> it's just, I don't know. Let me undo this really quickly. Okay, Avengers Infinity War is going to be on very soon, and I'm just going to maybe quickly review this. There is some uh, very slight torso articulation. Up and down, they can go side to side. The head... In 360, does the head come off? I really want to find out, but I'm afraid I might break it. No. Do I really want to try? I don't know if I want to. I don't think the head comes off. I'm going to have to go with... No, the head does not come off. So don't try it. Like I just did. Um... We got, ooh, we got some arm, really stiff arms here. Ah, wow, these are really stiff. How do you move this? Can you, it looks like you can pivot the arms this way. Yeah, you can, but it's just, it's really stiff. These joints are stiff. Okay, there's, um... Elbow movement, up and down, got the swivel, got the hands, the hands move, they can turn around, you can reposition the hands, this is cool, I might get more of these actually, I like these figures, I'm probably gonna have to get more of these, no doubt. Ugh, the joints are a little hard. You have to, like, push really hard on them or something. I don't know. Um, these are cool, though. This, these figures, this figure's badass, man. Love this thing. Um, yeah. Just twist a little bit. Thank you. Cool. Um, All right, uh, the thighs look like it has articulation too, but I'm guessing there's really stiff joints here. I, I don't understand why they're so stiff. 
Oh. Sorry, I was just realizing all the markings on the back of my figure, but it's cool. It's cool. Man, these are the stiffest joints I've ever seen or witnessed or something. Do these go back? I don't think they do. I don't want to. Find, I don't want to find that out. I really like this figure. I don't want to damage it right as I just got it <laughs> or just opened it. Um, I think it looks like the thighs should point. Come on, man, work with me here. The thighs, thigh, hypothyroidism. Yes, they should. They're not moving. I don't know why. They might have got a defective figure. These joints are not moving. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, God. Um, I'm afraid I'm going to break it. The thighs look like they have a ball joint, but they do not. It just kind of swivels like this. Do not try to move the thighs. You may break the figure. I am not getting very successful uh, movements with the thighs. So it's only a swivel, I guess. Anyways, let's move on to uh, more articulation of the figure. Wow, this thing... It's the stiffest joints, I swear. Ugh. I can't even push this thing down. Whatever, whatever. Um, let's see. Oh, it looks like you got... Oh, right. I just wanted to check something. Oh, okay. Um, got a knee articulation... Uh, yep, knee articulation, definitely. Um, yes, definitely knee articulation. Pretty far back. It does not go forward, I don't think, though. Yep, that's where it stops. These joints, these joints are so stiff. Why? It looks like the feet should articulate, but they do not. Um, only the legs can, and the, the thighs. Thighs get movement. And, um, sorry, but Avengers Infinity War is on right now, and here's the, the, the feet. I 